Hello, Russell Broadbent here, member for Monash. We hear a lot about our nation's need to improve productivity and in, in the last week, the government received the final report of the Women's Economic Equality Task Force. In short, the task force recommends a plan to address the nation's financial and productivity woes by, and I quote, unleashing the full capacity and contribution of women to the Australian economy. As if they've been slacking off all this time. In short, there appears to be a push for women to give birth to, to breed more taxpayers, then shove the baby into childcare so they can return to full-time paid work, the only work that seems valued in our society. My friend Barbara said she couldn't be any more productive if she tried. She said, I work five nights a week as an emergency nurse. Visit mum who's in aged care an hour away from home and help my son's family with the grandkids in the afternoon. I'm exhausted, she said. Her eyes then welled up with tired tears. This isn't the way life is meant to be, she said. The implicit assumption that we can squeeze more productivity out of women to help pay off our national debt is short-sighted, short-term fix at best and a gross miscalculation of the value of unpaid but essential work, the majority of which is performed by women. What value do we put on parenting, volunteering and caring roles? Or rather, what is the cost of not putting a value on these roles? Over the past four years, people have been pummeled like never before. You don't have to look far to sense the deep pain and suffering of so many people. In fact, there's a palpable sense of despondency that I've never seen in my 25 years in the parliament. As a nation, we can do better. We must do better. Maybe the $243 billion raised from the stage three tax cuts could help boost Australia's productivity instead of boosting the bank balance of people that don't need it. That's justice as I see it.